I've been flying since I was 13 years old, but in the military I've been flying since 2003. So uh, my initial, I guess, love for aviation started uh, growing up. I grew up in Alaska and was just surrounded by aviation of all types. For me, it was uh, just a different view, I guess, of the world. Um, you know, kind of looking down on everything, different, uh, you know, a different aspect, different perspective. That was what initially really, I think, drew me into it, other than the fact that flying has always just been, you know, very fun to me. Um, and then military flying, you know, just there's no higher performance level of flying than what you're going to get in the military. And, and so, um, I, you know, it was more of a challenge. You get to fly higher performance aircraft. You know, you get to really push yourself as opposed to, you know, just kind of flying around straight and level. So I actually started here in Yuma in 2006 uh, as part of VMA 311, a Harrier squadron. And I flew with them for three years. I did two deployments, one to Japan, one to Iraq. And then I left and I went to the East Coast uh, where I flew with Marine Attack Training Squadron 203. I was an instructor out there. And then I flew with uh, Marine Attack Squadron 542. And then I came back to Yuma um, and flew with MOTS-1. I did a tour there for three years. I was with the station for about three years. I flew the C-12 up until about two months ago. And then I went over to VMX-1, which is where I'll retire. So there's so many memories of, you know, flying over my career. The fondest memories I have are always the flights coming back from a deployment, having your friends and your family there to welcome you and, and just, you know, being back home after you've been gone for so long. It's, um, it, it, it's kind of a, I don't want to say like a tidal wave of emotions, but it's like a whole bunch of emotions thrown in together. There's nothing like having, you know, your friends or your family waiting there on the flight line for you when you get out of the airplane and, and walk back up to the hangar. Um, and know that that part of you know that part of your career is over. There might be another one in the future, but that one's done. You get to put that one behind you. Uh, you get to go spend some you know, some quality time with friends and family.